here, I just thought I'd just go through our new 12 volt system um, that I've put in the canopy and also what we're gonna do for the camper trailer as well. So I've opted for the Anadrive unit and I've also got uh, a new battery indicator here which I'll go through as well. Now in the canopy, I currently have hidden in behind here, there's a 105 amp hour flooded AGM deep cycle slash start battery. Uh, which will be getting changed out to our lithium ones which we receive. Now, I do have the King's 45 litre fridge and as you can see there guys, the fridge is currently drawing 4.6 amps. Now, notice the minus sign, that's that's um, what uh, it's actually e e extracting from the battery. Now, if there was plus, a plus sign, so if this was charging, there would be a plus there because this should be putting in more than the fridge is taking out. So. I haven't had much to do with the battery indicators. I've always just used the old uh, volt signal. Um, but anyway, it's gonna be good to see exactly what we've got uh, coming in and out of the batteries. Now here's the iTech World Lithium 120X. I've actually got two of them. So I've got one here and a new one which will go in the camper trailer. Now the reason I've gone for the iTech World, there's a couple of reasons. Their customer service is next to none. It was unbelievable on the phone. Uh, I'm not saying any other guys aren't, but yeah, they're, they just kind of ticked a few boxes for me personally. The other good thing that I liked about the iTech World batteries is their battery management system um, can accept AGM charge um, voltage, so 14.4 volts. Now, that's a plus for me as well because I don't need to upgrade my current 240 battery charger um, obviously another one with lithium they're lighter you're getting more usable power in there as well compared to an AGM battery so but yeah so the camper trailer the camper trailer has it's a, it's a 2016 Jackson Ford Fold from MDC it's got two 105 amp hour um, AGM batteries in it which as you know are very heavy so that's gonna be a big thing for us is uh, changing out the batteries. Sorry, that light was in the road. Yeah, but changing out the batteries to save a bit of weight and also have some more usable power. Uh, I'm just going to button up the um, button up the lithium into the into the canopy today. And I'll give you a bit of a show showdown on the um, rundown. Sorry, on the on the final installation. I just thought I'd put a multimeter on straight out of the box. So red to red, black to black. 13 volts out of the box, and we've got 80, 85%. That's pretty good for straight out of the box. It shouldn't take much to get that up charging. So I'll plug it in shortly and um, switch her on. I found some scales uh, and I thought I would just measure the difference between my previous deep cycle battery which is 105 amp hour uh, flooded cell compared to the iTech world 120 amp hour so lithium I've got I've currently got one in the ute now and this one will go in the camper trailer but here we go I'll just uh, put that there like that for you it's gonna be upside down I think but anyway let's go like this might be a bit better So I'll put that funnel there like that, and I'll chuck the I'm gonna chuck the flooded cell on first. As you can tell by my voice, it's very heavy. Uh, there we go. Flooded cells on. Twenty-five point eight kgs. Let's put the eye tech world on now. Eleven point six kgs. Just another great advantage of lithium. So here it is. I've got the lithium buttoned up. The solar is currently putting in five point two amps. <laughs> hey, Elky. It is very cloudy, and we are directly under a tree. So we've currently got the solar panels charging at fourteen volts. My start battery is registering at twelve point five and it's charging in uh, my lithium 13.1 at 0.6 amps. And there it is all buttoned up. For those of you who are interested, that's the air compressor mounted up there. And this is where the 
inverter will go, I think, haven't decided yet. And then I've got a little parcel shelf to put the battery charges and bits and pieces on. But anyway, I'll fire the motor up and give you a look at how it all looks. Rightio, so I've just turned the car on. Hopefully it should register shortly that the car's going. This is showing that we've got, we're pumping in some power. 75%, I've got to reset all this for the lithium battery though. So just to give you an idea, that, that's actually incorrect. Uh, that's not too far from, there you go. So see how the, this one's solid now, so we're pumping in from the start battery. So we're pumping in 24, 25, 26, look at the amps going up. How good is that? Let's go in here. Currently pumping in 37, 38, 39, 36. So it shouldn't take long at all. We're just gonna go for a little drive to give it all, all a test. And it'll uh, charge up. Pretty exciting. Okay, so I've just gone for a 10 minute drive. So it's pumped in 10% in 10 minutes. So like I said, I've got to reset this color, this uh, calculator, calculometer or whatever they call it. Currently 13.65 volts. 83% pumping in 35 to 36 amps which is similar up here so 35.9 36 amps going in currently 13.8 volts and then you can see here so that's the that's the, um, the lithium battery the solar is not charging it's just saying it's connected but not charging and it's charging from channel 3 which is the alternator now the priority here, so I've got the ignition wire connected. So doing a check, there we go. Let's see what's going on here. Anyway, so back to that priority. I was just doing a check of the system. Back to the priority there, it's a priority will always be the vehicle. Um, so as soon as it senses power from the vehicle, it'll switch on uh, and start charging. Anyway. I'll go for another um, little drive. The fridge is on. Yeah, the fridge is definitely on. It's currently drawing 4.45 or 43 amps. Batteries are 99.7 percent. 119 amp hours. It's a 120 amp hour battery. 13.3. So this thing goes into float. Um, there you go. Says it's full. So see these two that are flashing, they're not connected, or they are, no, they're not connected, that's what they mean when it's, so once this sits down to 12.5, I think it is, um, this will kick back in. So I'll come back to you in a second. I'm just inside the car, just so everyone, I'll show everyone what I've got here. So this is an engine data scan unit connected up to the OBD reader. I have it up all the time, it gives me an accurate reading of the engine coolant temperature. The intake air temperature i can change all this as well but the big one i've been watching lately is the voltage <clears throat> so this is currently what my alternator is giving Hello. as in charge yeah, that's my daughter in the back so definitely charging good um i have had the batteries tested so 14.4 volts which is yeah. what the alternator is charging which is great so that actually helps with the uh when we connect up to the dc charger in our camp trailer as well Rightio, so here we are. It's 11, oh, quarter to 11 on a Wednesday, Wednesday. Just about to drive home. Just so, we've had horrible weather here in Melbourne today. Zero sunshine. Um, my fridge has been on since I've done the Ener Drive upgrade and the lithium battery upgrade. I just want to show you something here. So we got so currently, 94.7%, sitting on 113 amp hours in a 120 amp hour battery. Now, my ute was sitting here this afternoon uh, from two o'clock-ish, cloudy, <coughs> cloudy weather, minimal sunshine. Uh, I doubt that the, I doubt that the solar panel actually, yeah, well, there you go, so about 13.3, volts still in the uh in the lithium battery let's check this down here turn the light on there we go 13.3 volts look i 
So far, I love this lithium setup with the Anadrive Boost. Now, I'm gonna drive home. It's about a half an hour drive home and we'll um, we'll see what this whole system says here, whether it pumps back up to 100%. Anyway, I'll come back to you soon. Rightio, so I'm home. 30 minute drive home. So my lithium is currently on 13.7. The inner drive saying it's full, 99.9%. Fridge is on, sucking 4.2 amps, 119.8 amp hours, 13.69 volts in the battery. Really goes to show that this this inner drive units are good. They pump in that power quickly. Great job. Very happy with this. Very, very happy. I'll uh, check in the morning because it'll be dark overnight. So it's now quarter past 11. I'll check in the morning and see what we got. Morning. It's 8.30 on Thursday, the day after. So I said I'd come out and give you the look at what's happened overnight. So the fridge is still on, minus three. 94.2 percent 113 amps left in there and the itech 120x battery is still sitting on 13.2 volts there you go look at that so the solar panels registering at 17 volts at the moment start battery is 12.5 lithium is 13.2 no amps going in at all so uh again Beautiful, cloudy, rainy, horrible day in Melbourne. And it was parked overnight and used 5.8%. Really liking the iTech World battery. I'm sure most lithiums are the same, but this whole setup, all I need to do is go for a little drive now. And this is back up to 100% and the fridge will never turn off. Anyway. If you're in the market for upgrading your 12 volt system, definitely look at lithium. Uh, the investment is well worth it in my opinion. Thanks guys, if you like, subscribe, leave some comments down below and uh, I'll catch you around.